This is the AnyCubic Castle 3D printer. This is a Delta style 3D printer from AnyCubic, a Far East company in China that has a couple different printer offerings, this being their cheapest. This is the pulley version of the Delta. There's also a linear rail version and a slightly bigger build volume version. This is how the printer is configured stock with no modification. You print straight to an unheated piece of glass with a build tack like sheet on top. Also, you power it with an adapter instead of a 20 amp power supply. It works, just something to look out for. In this config, it runs about 160 US. You can jump up to the next level and they will throw in a heated bed and a power supply, which they call the Type 2 option for 183 US. You will have a hefty shipping cost to the US at $37 and some change and that long wait time we all love. All the printers do come with a one kilogram spool of unmarked PLA filament. You can always use a little more cheap filament. I did opt for the heated bed with my order, but there really wasn't a lot of information to help you install it. My best guess is they just want you to set it in these plastic clips like they do the glass plate. One, the clips for the glass plate aren't adjustable anyway, so there's no correcting the level. Two, these are cheap injection molded parts that probably won't last very long under the stress of the heat. When you do get the heated bed mounted up somehow, you're still going to want to print on the glass plate. They give you these two binder clips, but there's really no good way to clip them on. This config just won't do. So do yourself a favor and print up some parts, add some bolts and maybe some springs for some kind of level adjustment. I chose to just screw the heat bed down, put some painter's tape on it with a print and Z skin on top, and it makes life a lot easier to adjust and use. The base model advertises a 180 by 300 millimeter build volume. I found you can actually go a little higher than that, maybe 315 millimeters or so. With the Delta style, you can actually just swap out these aluminum extrusions with longer ones, and you can go pretty much as high as you want. The hot end is a low-end V6 clone, the extruder is an MK8 style, and the board is a Rams Mega Combo with the usual low-end components on it. The Delta arms do come pre-assembled, and they are made out of carbon fiber, so that's a plus. Most of the other parts are molded plastic. Now for the bad stuff. First thing I don't care for is how they mount the board to the frame. It's just hanging there by an acrylic faceplate, and the power connections are way too close to the metal. There's definitely a better printable option for mounting this. Next, the hot end barrel is not the standard 4mm internal size. It's slightly larger and has an odd sized PTFE tube in it. The internal diameter of the tube is too large and it causes the filament to bind and jam. So toss this one over your shoulder and get a new standard one for a couple of bucks. The only other issue I had was the half size part cooling fan was DOA. I just bought a couple of others from AliExpress. The size is a little less common than the others, but they are out there. Again, something I always complain about, if you get the heated bed option, you're going to get this follow you around everywhere power supply. So you're going to need to make a mount or a cover to protect you from the AC voltage. They do use square nuts instead of T-nuts to assemble the aluminum channel. I think they do work a little better, but you'll have to put them in before assembly. They need to slide in from the end of the channel. Just something to watch out for. AnyCubic does use standard Marlin firmware tailored for this printer, and you can download a copy of it from their Google Drive and tweak it as much as you want. You will have to adjust the Z height based on the bed choice you make. You'll probably have to adjust the smooth rod length. This is the setting that makes the part look convex or concave. You can tweak it up or down if you need to. Print something large so you can see the effect. Probably start around 151. You might also need to adjust the Z height at the end stop level. You can use these small calf head screws to fine tune it. This is the modified configuration I use. All in all, this is a pretty nice machine for the money. I would guess at this price point, it's one of the most affordable Delta kits on the market. It has a nice build size, the frame is built pretty well, and after you jump over a few usual pitfalls of a cheap 3D printer kit, it seems to be pretty reliable. A few more points in the plus column for the printer's upgradeability. It's a good entry-level Delta kit that can be taken a lot further if you so desire. So if you're looking for a Delta kit on the cheap, give this one a look. Not too bad. Here's one of the longer prints I've done on this printer. It took about 25 hours. You can see the layer consistency looks pretty good. No major issues to speak of. As always, I have not been in contact with any cubic on this review. This printer was purchased with my own funds through the AliExpress website, and all opinions expressed are my own. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing to my channel. If not, please leave your thoughts below, and thanks for watching.